What's up everybody? Yu-Gi-Oh! 101 discussion video here. Uh, this is one of those videos that I spoke on um, in my uploading schedule. Uh, if you guys seen it, um, this video is going to be speaking on the ban list. Um, like, you know, like what exactly is the purpose of the ban list? Um, and also I'm going to be speaking on, you, you know, like these leak ban list predictions and, the, and these people that be making these obscene, ridiculous, asinine predictions as to what should be taken off the ban list and what should be putting on there or what should be put on there and not having, you know, good reasons for it and you know things along the line of that so you know like I said I was gonna do this video earlier this week I'm just now getting some free time in order to do it so that being said I mean ah, okay, trying to find a way to block that yeah I know this looks weird just deal with it you know I'm trying to block that sunlight that's you know beaming into the or the webcam but um yeah so um you know, in this video, like, like I said, you know, I will be elaborating on, you know, like the band cards list and what have you. Um, here's the thing: like the band list was meant to do two things. One is is to push the game in a direction, you know, that Konami is trying to market to the players, and two is unofficially rebalance the game for like the next six months. You know, like every six months, you know, like they make a new format, uh, and the reason why I say unofficially is because like Konami really doesn't care to rebalance the game it's more so a marketing strategy you know by them putting certain cards on a ban list along with the new cards that are coming out you know they're trying to push you in a direction of buying these new cards and getting you interested in this new stuff you know and like they already had did this you know like with exceeds a while back you notice that some of the cards that were used you know like during the um that synchro era you know aren't usable anymore or they reduce the number of those cards that you can use um and with that with the way the average person's the average uh you know person think in Yu Gi Oh. Um, you know, for the people that play the game, you know, they're like, if I'm not available to you, if I'm not able to use this car, use this, you know, build to the extent that I've been able to use it on, then it's no longer usable, you know, then I might as well just move on to something different, you know, so if I'm not able to abuse these strategies, you know, for example, like with the insectors and windups on the level that I've been able to, then they're just completely useless, so I'm gonna just move on to whatever next thing I'm able to abuse and pretty much that's how Konami makes their money you know off of you know people that you know general you know want to you know just buy the cards and for other people it's just the fact that you know what I mean like they just want wants whatever has the, the the easiest and, the, and like the cheapest and like the cheapest learning curve and then they just use that you know and it's like that every time but um that's just one thing about the band list right there that I wanted to touch on like before I really get into what I wanted to speak on you know like another thing that happens with the band list and uh like I said this is really something that I wanted to touch on is that every time there's a new format coming up you always get this this early leak unofficial ban list that that you know like, like it stirs up some type of controversy and confusion you know like within the Yu-Gi-Oh community for all those who don't know any better at least you know and these leak ban lists always seem to have these ridiculous suggestions and cards um you know like that were banned but now they're getting put back into the game which again if you were a person that didn't know any better um or like you didn't understand the game well enough inside and out um then like you know like you would look at a list like that and say well damn like you know like why are they bringing this card back into the game you know it makes no sense you know like a perfect example 
um, you know, like I said, like it's a new format that's on its way, you know, March 1st. You know, that's when the new ban list, you know, like comes into effect. And this ban list, just like others in recent years and even before that, um, had an, an unofficial ban list leak. And even though I haven't seen it myself, you know, I heard from, you know, like multiple sources and I've seen it on multiple sources, you know, like, um, that one card by the name of Goyo Guardian, you know, which, you know, was banned, was ended up being limited. And, you know, which if, you know, like you're a person that, like myself, that's been in this game for, that's, you know, that's played Yu-Gi-Oh for like a number of years, and you're really experienced in it. And when I say experienced, I mean like you understand why cards are put on the ban list. You understand why cards come off the ban list, you know, etc. Uh, you would look at something like that. And you would honestly say there's no way in hell a card like a card such as Go Your Guardian will be coming back into the game. Because its summon requirement didn't match the effect it had. Not to mention that it had, that it was a low level monster for the type of card that it was its attack was too high for its level and people were pulling off these ridiculous cheap tactics it had to go and it was and here's the point that I'm basically trying to get to all the time when people make these banlist prediction videos or they make like a thread on like a forum you know speaking on something like that as to what should come back into the game and what should be taken out you know one thing they tend not to do is think their predictions through you know what I mean like they don't think it through when you are planning to make a ban list video or like some type of thread like before you make your suggestion you need to look at the ban list as it currently is you know like before you make the video or like thread or whatever and ask yourself these questions for what reasons did these cards get banned why are these why were these cards banned in the first place and does the reason why they are banned still exist in the current metagame you know the reasons why these cards should come back into the game uh, shouldn't be biased you know and I see plenty of people making these discussions in various forums and videos but they never give legit reasons as to why the cards you know they spoke on should come back into the game you know what I'm saying like they never give legit reasons based on where the game is now and based on where the game is now could you see these cards li like literally coming back into the game the only reasons that they can seem to come up with are basically because oh because I like this card and I would like to see it come back in the game no 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 when you're making a discussion like that you can't like when you're speaking on or when you're having a discussion as, such as you know ban list predictions as to what should come off and what should get put on the ban list slash limited list cards should never like come back into the game solely because you just want to see them come back into the game you know you have to go into discussions like that with an unbiased viewpoint you know you have to look at the reasons for them being on the list in the first place and if the reasons that they got banned no longer exist in the card game then you can say okay well then this card can come back you know but that's basically it you know just wanted to speak on that on, on those things you know like just elaborate on them um you know like it is kind of annoying for like i understand for a lot of those for a lot of us that are in that are in the Yu Gi Oh community to see those type of things constantly people constantly making videos and predictions and they make these stupid ass predictions like for example i read on a forum that somebody still thinks that monster reborn should be banned monster reborn is a one-for-one -one card regardless you know it, it targets the same type of monsters that in my graveyard as it does in your graveyard it's not such a game-breaking card that it needs to be put on the ban list you know what i mean it monster reborn in itself you know in many ways it it does help to to uh level the playing field 
And for some reason, people think that if you have a card that targets their graveyard and you can special summon a monster from their graveyard, then that card needs to be banned. And that's a stupid way to look at it. You know what I mean? It's called strategy. Monster Reborn actually helps people, you know, win games. I've seen people who have had like bad hands and they just did terribly throughout the whole duel but they were doing well enough to where they can lower their their opponent's life point down, down to a certain point and like they pretty much just had the odds stacked against them but then they ended up using Monster Reborn and then they were able to make a comeback you know Monster Reborn helps people win games period it can really help turn the tables in a tight situation um, it's not so game breaking to where a card like that should be put on a ban list. You know, people are saying people are saying that, oh well, um, well why don't they just bring back you know like uh, uh, like premature burial? Look at the reason why premature burial was put on the ban list in the first place. Then say that. You know, like I'm gonna let you be a victim of your own stupidity like you know like I'm not gonna call you out on why that car was put on the ban list and why a car like Monster Reborn is still in the game. You know you know what I'm saying like, like I'm not gonna elaborate on Monster Reborn any further but it's little things like that that I feel people need to be, you know, told on. Of course you have some people that just don't understand the game well and they make these, you know videos and threads in, you know like various forms or what have you and they just don't know how to speak on it so they end up just saying oh because I like the card and I understand that you know this video kind of targets them more so than the other people that I'm you know trying to target but yeah if you're gonna make a video or like a thread on this look at the ban list beforehand see if the reasons why these cards still exist and make reasonable you know what I'm saying some reasonable predictions you know what is being abused in the game uh, for example you know like when the windups were running rampant obviously they needed to be slowed down tremendously and in this ban list you know like they finally did that but it's kinda late you know what I mean like they kinda waited late to do it <laughs> but they finally did it with um yeah, on top of some other things that I spoke on, which you guys can see on my channel, you know, like I did the ban list, uh, um, review, you know, and it's the actual ban list, you know, like it's not a, a leak. This was on the Yu-Gi-Oh card website run and made by Konami. They posted it on there and they said that, okay, these cards will be, you know, banned, limited, semi-limited and unlimited, you know, March 1st 2013 so you guys can check that out on my channel so that's going to be it for this video um, I hope you guys enjoyed it um, I also hope I made some good points um, you know what I'm saying like that you guys were able to catch on on to and um, yeah that's pretty much it so I'll see you guys for the next Yu-Gi-Oh! 101 video and uh, until then peace